If you guys are interested in Oculus Quest 2, Zenith VR MMO, or a Township Tale VR content and updates, then go ahead and like the video, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Welcome back to Quest World, everyone. Today we're going to be covering a Township Tale on request one more time for you guys. We'll be talking about the dashboard commands and or the hacks and cheats that you can use in a Township Tale. But specifically, I'll be guiding you through how to do this via your PC and Quest at the same time, because this is what it requires in order for you to use the settings board menu. So without any further ado, let's log into the video. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like from inside the game off of the computer. I do suggest having something tall for this part because the menu board is kind of large. If you hold B, you'll notice that you have a new button popping up if you've activated that settings enable command. Once you activate that, you should have a large board that pops up in front of you. And we're just going to go through what all of these things do. Finish projects, if you drop a... Um, piece of material into any of the buckets that you see that require them like wood or um, metals or things like that you drop one piece in there or just the stone like over there on the bridge there drop one stone in there and then press this button and it will finish all the projects in front of you you can fill the community boxes which will fill everything up um, everywhere you can set your damage multipliers you can um, make it to where you're basically an instant master at anything in the game, fill the books with all the recipes, you can turn PvP on and off, you can stop the dropping all on death thing, and you can make it day if you're tired of dealing with night, and fill your hunger meter. To get rid of this thing, just hold this down, and push that bubble. So now that you've seen what it looks like from inside of the game, let's go over to the PC and I'll guide you through how you can actually activate that menu. First, you'll need to go to dash.townshiptail.com slash servers. This is your Alta VR account, and you will use that to log in. You can also just look up altavr.com, and it should take you still to the same site. Once online and logged in, you'll see all of these servers that you are currently or have previously played in. Click on the server that you yourself created. Then you'll see an empty... Um, page with just the add module button. You're going to click add module. You'll see there's a command runner tab. Click on the command runner and notice that you'll need to be logged in on the Oculus Quest 2 while you're doing this or at least one person needs to be logged into your server. Otherwise you'll end up with a not connected status. If you do not see a bar that allows you to type in it on the command runner and the run button underneath no one is logged in and you need to make sure you log someone in, get them on the server and have one person available or yourself where um, I did this myself just halfway wearing my quest and staying on the PC looking down via the um, small amount of space you can look down through. If you have to do it this way then it's fine but preferably having another player logged into the server while you're do on the PC doing the commands makes it a lot easier. You will want to enable this, the command, all lowercase, settings, space, enable, dash, board. If you type this out exactly as is, it should give you the ability to have that settings button all the time. You shouldn't have to enter, enter this a bunch of times or anything like that. Once you turn it on, it should stay on without any issues. If it's ever off, you can just re-enter this command and it will turn it back on. Now let's talk about a few other commands that you can do from this point now that you know how to turn on a command. So to enter the player teleport command you need to type in lowercase player space teleport the name of the player space respawn point. This will teleport any player from wherever they are on the map right back to the respawn point. So if you've gotten stuck maybe over the mountains, you've fallen in a hole, or you're stuck in the mines like we said before, this is going to pull you out and you can do this for anyone who's on your server. 
There are a load of commands that you can learn in order to edit your server and alter things, but these were the two most important ones and they were the most requested ones I've gotten for this video. So I hope this helped you guys out. And remember, if you want to play a Township Tale with us, you can always come over to the Discord and schedule a time. And if there's any video requests that you have, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Remember that if you would like to join the conversation on any of the topics we cover on the channel, come on over to the Facebook group, Discord, or Patreon. We really appreciate all the likes, comments, and subscribes, all the support from all viewers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please keep watching.